This morning's episode of Half Faith Let It Begin is sponsored in part by Nothing to Something with Matthew Harrington. It's a podcast for everyone, and I encourage all of you to listen. Nothing to Something, available on all platforms. Subscribe today. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Good morning, and welcome to Half Faith Let It Begin on this Wednesday, December 1st, 2021. Do you ever feel overwhelmed? Do you ever get to the point where you just want to pull your hair out, throw your hands up in the air and scream? Say to yourself, I can't take much more of this. Things are coming at you from left and right. Feel like you get smacked in the back of the head. Sometimes you feel like you're so angry you just want to cry. You want to bowl yourself up into a little ball or maybe just hide in a corner. You almost feel like you're that eight-year-old kid, scared, nervous, not sure what to do. Trust me, as a parent, first-time parent, as a colleague, as a husband, sometimes I feel all of the above. I've been feeling that way for a couple of, a couple of days now. And I will share with you what made me feel better. This episode is called Feeling Overwhelmed. Have Faith, Let It Begin starts right now. Check this out. Broadcasting live worldwide. Hi, Daddy. Hey, Ariel. Can you say, have faith? Yeah, again. On June 16th, 2018, a show designed for you, The Daily Commuter, went live. A weekly show all about faith. A show with motivational topics, inspirational stories, and personal testimony set out to change the world. Have faith? Let it begin? <laughs> One day you'll say it. Can you say half faith? Let it begin. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Hey, Ariel, can you say have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin. Say have faith. Let it begin. No. 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 No? Okay. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this Wednesday edition of Half Faith Let It Begin. You heard the intro, and, uh, you know, I got to be honest. It's been an overwhelming feeling these past couple of days. Actually, more like a week and a half. Just so much to do, and you feel as if you have no time to do it. No one, just for the record, out there that I work with, no one out there in my immediate family or my best friends have made me feel that way personally. It's just all the things that have just completed, just started to pile up in my own mind. From my car not working, uh, to my dog getting sick, my mother's dog getting sick, to bills piling up a little bit, but then just just little things like that. And then, of course, the holiday season is upon us. You want to make sure you get the right deals so that you can purchase the right items uh, for your child for their first official understanding of what Christmas is all about and of course just trying to fit all that in while still trying to um, manage uh, your jobs or manage your time efficiently and if you're like me I'm not the greatest person when it comes to time management Um, I've gotten better over the years but I've just never gotten great at it so what do you do what happens when you feel like you're about to pull your hair out you want to scream you want to just jump out of the house and just start going ah for me there are a couple things that I try to do I try to write down my feelings I try to express how I'm feeling with words on paper sometimes that doesn't always work for me in this case it didn't usually I'll go right into a quick prayer And I know that that keeps me at bay. But I got to be honest. I didn't think about prayer right off the bat. Shame on me, right? (laughs) But I really didn't. I went after things that I thought that could help. And lo and behold, what never fails is what always we know we should have done first. For me, and I can only speak for myself, I started to pray. I started to ask God just for calmness not for him to fix things that's up to me 
And I'm not asking for him to make miracles happen in my life because God knows there are so many other people right now that are suffering. And for me to ask to be first, in my opinion, is wrong. For me, it was more of, I just need a little peace of mind, God. Give my chance, give my my mind a time to just relax. Maybe when I'm sleeping so that when I wake up, the wheels aren't turning. So yesterday I went to work and I felt better. I woke up in the middle of the night because Ariel woke up and I did the Lord's Prayer. And I did it over and over and over again. And I felt this calmness come over me. Then I was at work and a good friend of mine, Dr. Tommy and Ellie, texted me and wanted to see how I was doing. And then he said some really powerful words to me. God has a plan. He has a plan for you. And it's unfolding. Be patient. And it was as if God was speaking through him to me. And in a matter of of an instant, a snap of the finger, I felt better. And I've been feeling better ever since. But then I said to myself, I've got to share this with all of you because my life is not perfect. Maybe I come across sometimes as I'm always jolly every day. And and quite frankly, I would say about 97% of the time, I am always in a good mood. It's very rare that you catch me in a bad mood. And again, I'm human. There are days where things just don't go in the right direction. They don't make me feel so happy, so jolly. But I know that eventually it will just turn around. It will get better. Then I started thinking of all of you. I started thinking about all of the people out there that we pray for each and every day. And I'm thinking about all of you that may be overwhelmed. Maybe all of you are feeling the same way I am, but aren't able to express how you feel the way I am able to do on this platform. So I wanted to give you an outlet. I wanted to let you know that if you are feeling overwhelmed, maybe God has put me in this position so that I can express how I feel so that you in turn can understand that it's not you that are alone. There are others out there that are feeling the same way. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, I'm asking you for an opportunity to pray for you and with you. So that's what we're going to do today. And let me enclose by saying this. Nobody in this world is perfect. We all have things that we have to deal with. We all have our good days and our bad days. But rest assured, we have each other. We are all God's children. And if we find ourselves in a position to help others, whether it's through a text, through a phone call, through a pat on the back, and even a hug, That's our way of giving back to each other. But the key factor is this. When somebody is overwhelmed, when somebody wants to talk, just listen. Let them vent. Let them get their frustrations out. Never tell them what you think they should do unless they ask. Give them an opportunity to open up so that they can feel better about themselves, can feel better about what is happening. Because once it's out... Once you release all that tension, you do feel much better. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, God knows we've spoken a lot this week. And I know that you know that I've been overwhelmed. I want to thank you, Lord. I want to thank you for always being a part of my life. I want to thank you for coming into my heart and allowing me the opportunity to just be very, very safe and comfortable. Allow, oh, somebody's talking at me. Allowing me the opportunity to know that you are somebody that I can trust. Somebody that I know will always be with me. Somebody that I know will never leave my side. We lift up in prayer so many of these Half Faith Let It Begin family members, all those that are doing their part to try and stay happy, to do their part to give to one another. I'm asking you, Lord, to continue to bless us each and every day. And as we leave today with the Lord's Prayer, allow us to think about all those that are in need of prayer, all those that seek you, because we know that with you and through you, everything is possible. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 
and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We leave you with this. Recent events of the shooting over in Wisconsin. Um, Actually, I think it was in Michigan, excuse me. We ask you, Lord, to be with the parents and the children and the victims of this school shooting that's happened again in America. God be with these families. May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you. And may he shine his face upon you and grant each and every one of you peace on earth. And never forget, have faith. Let it begin. Programming note for everyone at Have Faith, Let It Begin. Thanks for listening for another episode. Just want to remind you that this Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, we're going to bring back our fourth annual Story of the Candy Cane. That's right. On Christmas Eve, 7 a.m. and Christmas Eve, 7 p.m. And again on Christmas Day, 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., we will bring back the Story of the Candy Cane. And we hope that all of you will join us. It's a short time to get together and listen to an awesome story. A story about something that we don't even realize is right in front of us. The power of the candy cane. On behalf of all of us here at Half Faith Let It Begin, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you for listening to another episode of Half Faith Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know, and yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday, and it's going to be live at 7.30. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts, because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story, each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we (laughs) improve... She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day.